Here's an exam style question in nuclear physics, testing your knowledge of half-life and activity. So the question says we have to complete the following reaction equation. We always start with the radiation particle, and in this case that's beta. Mass number of beta is 0, and atomic number is minus 1. For the left hand side of the equation to balance the right hand side, barium must have the same mass number as cesium, but it needs 56 protons. Then we're asked to show that the decay constant is approximately 7 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds to the minus 1. We know that the decay constant is related to half-life, but the half-life is given in years. We have to turn it into seconds first. 30 times 365 days, 24 hours, 60 minutes, and 60 seconds. That gives us a half-life of 9.5 times 10 to the power of 8 seconds. The decay constant is equal to natural log of 2 divided by half-life. Substituting the numbers in, that gives us 7.3 times 10 to the power of minus 10 seconds to the minus 1. And always quote at least one more significant figure than what's given in the question if we're asked to prove something. And now we want to find the initial activity of 1 kilogram of cesium. I know that activity is proportional to the number of radioactive nuclei in the sample. And the constant of proportionality between them is the decay constant, which we know. The subscript here just tells us that these are initial variables. The trick in answering this question is to realize that we have to find the initial number of nuclei in the sample. The sample's mass is 1 kilogram, and each cesium atom has a mass of 137 U, where U is the atomic mass unit. If we divide the mass of the sample by the mass of one atom, that will give us the number of nuclei N. Here, I'm multiplying 137 by 1 1.66 times 10 to the power of minus 27 to convert atomic mass units into kilograms. The rest is just easy substitution, and we get 3.1 times 10 to the 15 becquerels. We have to explain why 1 kilogram of cesium-137 would be safe in a sealed metal box. The equation tells us that cesium decays into beta particles. Beta particles can be absorbed by metal with a thickness of 1 cm. But if the decay involves gamma ray, that would easily penetrate the metal. The final section wants us to calculate how long it takes for cesium sample to reduce its activity from 3 times 10 to the power of 15 becquerels to 1000 becquerels. Let's write down the variables and the unknown first. The initial activity is 3 times 10 to the power of 15 becquerels, and the activity at time t is 1000 becquerels, and we want to find time t. Here is the decay equation, and we want to make t the subject. To get rid of the exponent, we take natural log on both sides, cancelling the exponent. Bring the decay constant to the other side. We arrive at 4.1 times 10 to the power of 10 seconds. So this tells us that after 4.1 times 10 to the power of 10 seconds, the activity of the sample has dropped to 1000 becquerels.